with our and it, uh, blah. <laughs> If you've been at any of our previous lives, we just kind of hang out a minute while Emily checks to see if we're up and running. I have an iPad off to my right that I can look at too. I don't have a commercial yet. I have a commercial. I have nothing. For, I can see people in for chat. HBO Max. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should get HBO Max. Okay. Okay. You're good. I see. Yeah, I'm not going. Okay, so I should go. Yeah. Hey friends, happy Wednesday friends. I'm so excited you're here with me tonight. We're going to paint a simple snowman face. It's this one down here. The traceables on my website, anitro.com. You go under classes and then there's a drop down tab that says more traceables. Um, that's the landing page. We make it kind of hard. I make it kind of hard. There's no way there. And you just scroll down a little bit and there's tabs. You want to go to the winter holiday tab. Um, Emily's here with me tonight. Hello. I'm, we're going to fly over to my light table and get started right away. All right. We fly. <laughs> Hocus Pocus reference. And I'm going to get tangled up because I'm out of, I'm out of. Yeah, practice. I'm out of practice. Although people can see my new drop, my drop, it's a, it's a rug. Um, so technically washable rug. Yeah, a wash. It's a very thin rug. In case I drop a paintbrush or a palette or something, I can't see if I'm. I'm all. I so did that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned a, a a complete circle there to unwind myself. And then I'm gonna have you move that light behind you closer in. Okay. Are we pretty much in? I think we're pretty good. In my. Feet won't stick to it next summer when I'm not wearing socks. And yeah, I'm I trying to stand next to you. I used to have a vinyl tablecloth, so then feet would stick to it. Like that? Yeah, I think so. We'll see. We'll see if people complain about the shadows. It looks really dark. But I can barely see the top of my phone. Oh, here I can look. How does that look? Oh, yeah, that's good. Thanks. That helped. We're gonna get shadows, but that's okay. Huh. Okay, so this is a five inch by five inch cradled wood panel from U.S. Art Supply. I uh, put some clear, oh, I can't reach it. I put some clear Liquitex gesso on it a couple days ago and painted the background so it would be dry. So I could, then I printed this out a little bigger so I could trace it. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where to stick it. I'm going to throw it on the ground. Okay. Hey everybody, thanks for the hearts. <laughs> so fun. Oh, Emily's still adjusting. It's so nice to have her here. So the colors I have so far are titanium white. I'm gonna put some more out. I'll kind of clean that up a little bit. It'd be kind of nice if the delay wasn't quite so long. Mm -hmm. So they're all going to be Liquitex, titanium white, Mars black, phthalo blue, uh, cat yellow medium hue, and I'm probably going to put out some quinacridone magenta. They're all basics this time around. I purchased more basics during the pandemic and I like them. What, a bug? A gnat. <laughs> I killed it. I have, a, oh my god, I've like, I have a lot of those and I feel like I... I clap gnats all the time in my house. It's getting chilly out. The trees are at peak foliage where we live in Omaha, Nebraska. It's beautiful, but the bugs are also looking for a warmer home, I think I warmer can. place to live. We kind of need those box lights so it doesn't well, we need the, do the shadow so the bad. The clampies that you had, but they're probably still pet. I made it worse, Oh, yeah, I they're think. in the tub back there, but I just yeah. was thinking I'm not going to get things out. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, I painted the background kind of a teal color. And you can even see it separating a little bit here with the, I misted it with water. But it's quite a, it's, um, let me think. I think it's quite a bit of yellow and a little phthalo blue and some white. You could use, you could do it with pretty much any blue. It'll be different. It might look a little different. Um, I don't know if like a red shade will work as well because it's going to want to go purple with the yellow. So after I said you can use any blue, it would be easier with um, a cobalt blue, a phthalo blue, something like that. Okay. So actually, I think I'm going to mix. I think that sets the table. Okay. 
I don't know if I'm gonna put out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need quinacridone because we're gonna do we need an orange nose. And uh, I'm gonna mix. I don't know if I want to start. You can start pretty much anywhere. Oh, and I painted these on so they'd be dry, so I could paint on top of them. Try and speed things up. I'm, I'm kind of having a slow start, Emily. Bye. I'm done. Okay. Let's see. So far. In the chat, I have to pull it up again. <laughs> okay, let's see. So uh, Chase kinda, came early with his 9.99 is go I emoji. That's so nice. I kind of zoned there for a second. <laughs> Did you notice that? <laughs> uh, we have AG Deborah. Let me scroll because that's you. <laughs> Um, Marty, Leanne, Cindy, and I believe that's everyone so far. And Leanne said, are you moving to Thursday? No. We're I'm, staying on Wednesday. Yeah, we'll stay Wednesday, 6 p.m. Central time. Central time. Um, I don't foresee us changing that anytime soon. Any, we used to be at noon uh, when I first started. But um, I am moving to a new place. This is just a temporary place. So maybe that was. Oh, and AG is Eve. I just saw that. I'm scrolling through the chat. Oh, hey. Eve. Thanks for coming, you guys. I'm just kind of looking for a limey green. I wonder if I um, just need to put some white in it. I'm also looking for kind of a yellow green. I'm going to make a big puddle here. Let's, um, let's separate it. I think I'm going to have green earmuffs and a green scarf. Oh, Feels you, weird. You know what? Even... Oh, I, you go. Upstairs on my desk mm -hmm. is a post-it, and I don't know what color <laughs> with the people I need to yeah. thank. Okay, I'll get up. I was going to say, um, it feels weird that you're painting a snowman and we haven't even had Halloween yet. I know, but I'm like, I'm going to, so since I'm moving in the middle of November again, I'm going to, you know, I, I, packed a little last Saturday, I'm going to pack a little again this Saturday, and I, there's just, I don't have that much stuff, and yet, you know, I'll have to do, I'll have to just kind of stop painting and um, pack, get ready to move. Anyway, I need to get stuff ready for the holidays. There we go. That's kind of the color I'm looking for. I paused for a second there because I was answering Emily a little bit, and then she went upstairs to get my... Post it with the thank yous. <laughs> oh, were you still talking to me? I was still talking to you. That's okay. Oh, just talking in general. Yeah, no, I realized that's that's really what I was doing. I just... <laughs> there we go. I think I like that. Do we like that? Now that I've done it, am I going to like it on the, the aqua? Yeah, let's just go for it. Well, no, we'll just go for it. And I'm going to paint more than one. But yeah, I need to, like, I don't think I'm going to paint the ornaments this year. So, oh, that's something I should mention. As I threw that traceable on the ground, that's a set of four ornaments. So in this video's description, I linked how I wire the ornaments. I think I linked to a, one of my uh, ornament videos. You don't have to do them. That's just how I've got, I think I've got 16 different ones you can do. Yeah. yeah. You want me to look? No. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to paint any. I don't, I need a, I need to buy a drill. <laughs> just one step at a time. So now I'm trying to decide, I think I'll just start with some white. And I think I'm going to have the sun or the light direction coming from up over here. Oh, this. this is a little quarter inch flat brush, which is kind of small. But I have, I feel comfortable with that, a little bit more control. Something happening? No, I just realized I was still logged in as you. I need to be me. Oh, so you can come in as you. <laughs> So what's nice is if I, I go over the eyes, I can still see them, and I can reinforce them. Oh, you know what? I probably could hold this up. Let's see if that works. I might float off frame, though. So titanium white says that it's opaque. The box is black, it's full. But, you know, I put a, got a little water in my brush. I don't have a ton of paint. 
some of my background comes through, which I don't mind. It can work to my advantage. Oh, you know what I forget? It's like, I've done the lies for a while now, but I can turn them. I don't normally turn it when I'm videoing because I don't want to make you guys too dizzy. I like that you're painting it on a little, um, 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 um little wood, cradled wood panel thing. You know, I've like, I started buying the wood because people were denting my canvases at the gallery. Mm -hmm. They were handling them too strongly. Not, you know, people who hang the art, not people who are buying. So that's what got me to start buying them. And now I like them because they're smooth. They're not smooth, but they don't have that woven texture, which I, I don't always like it when I photograph a little painting and then I blow it up. So I also like the texture a little better. But that's just a personal, they're more expensive. It's just a personal preference. I think most of what I haven't packed over there in the closet is the little ones are, I think, a wood, most of them are wood panels, cradled wood panels. Mm, Deborah says, I painted this last Christmas on the 4x4 four four canvas panels that you did as ornaments. Oh, did Those you? Those would be cute. Those would be cute as decor, too, which is what I picture this little guy being. Yeah, it's this like, guy can sit. Yeah, as somebody puts him up at Christmas. Yeah. No, I would do some ornaments. I just, and I could borrow like Emily's drill. I'm, like, I'm just going to have a, whatever I get done, I get done this year. Mm, someone's sending lots of hearts. I see lots of hearts. Oh, thanks guys. So I'm just putting on some white and it's kind of thin, but I like it. Brush stroke direction isn't super important, but it can kind of help you shape the snowman too, because some of it's going to show. And then like it's dry there, it's going to overlap. Oh, my knee's like not happy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Freckles settled down at a nice... Yeah, Freckles is my cat. She has her face pushed into like uh, the bunched up blanket underneath the easel over here. Oh. Yeah. Like a little little face mask. That's actually more dark or more opaque than I want it. I think it'll be okay though. Ooh, now I might have too much water. So I just offloaded whatever. Oh now I'm lifting it up. <laughs> Acrylic paint problems. What are you guys working on? You don't have to be painting. Emily's crocheting. I actually said the right word, Em. Yeah. <laughs> Half the time I say knitting. Well, um, Eve says, tell Annie hi all the way from Virginia. Hello. Or VA. Hello. Um, Coral says, Annie, um, love your sandhill crane, all the colors and all the feathers. I love that too. Ooh. All the purples and blues. Yeah, I made kind of a they Concord grape color. It was a Concord grape color. For the color. background. I don't, it depends on what you view it on and, you know, how it might, the colors are going to shift for. Oh, Deborah says, I put them on little easels. That would be cute. Oh, that is cute. Little easels would be sweet. Yeah. I'm kind of glad I did that so I don't forget that. Um, there's a little bit of the background showing through right there. That'll help me remember. Coral says, I think I would like to paint the four birds, Cardinal, Waxwing, Chickadee, and Blue Jay. Is that, are those the ones that are on the birds on a line? Chatting online? Is that all the... Oh, maybe. It was so fast in my brain. I didn't... Oh, um, the four birds, Cardinal, Waxwing, Chickadee, and Blue Jay. I, think I can't those... remember if there's a Blue Jay on that one. There's a Blue Jay because isn't that the waving Blue Jay? No, the cardinal waves. Oh. Well, um, yeah, chatting online is the painting you're thinking of. I was thinking see. there's five. I th Did you just list four? I think I listed four. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you don't have to paint them all. Well, I was wondering if it was the one, all one chatting online, or you do have like a bajillion separates of all of those. Yeah, I don't think I have a traceable for chatting online. I don't think so either. No. I usually don't for something that big. Yeah. I'm gonna go look. 
I might do a snowman next week. I haven't decided, but I've got the snowman I drew that's, um, it's going to sound weird. I think it's cute, but it's going to sound weird when I say it. It's laying on the snow posing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's a robin in the chatting online. Oh, that's right. And you're right, the cardinal's waving. So I bet they're all the separates. Because you do have a, I think you have a, you just have too many birds. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a traceable for the cedar waxing. Of course, I could be wrong. I'm just getting some color on. I like to paint the bottom, even though it's going to sit on the bottom. Sometimes people look. But mm -hmm. especially when we go over to the side, they'll see that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Coral says it was Birds Online. Oh, okay. Bird, yeah. I've painted that cardinal several times. Sometimes I don't even video it. But um, Eve says, last year I painted one of the chickadees, the polar bear with the cardinal. I like that guy. Oh, the, like especially that the one that you did with the, he's extra fuzzy. Looking. Yeah, I kind of did a, oh, um, that one. I like the other, I like the newer one. And I'm working on the Halloween gnome you did right now. Oh, fun. The fall one with the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I, like, the flower. I like that guy. He's got stripey socks. Uh, Marty says, I like, I like snowmen, lol, crying laughing face. Oh, I do too. <laughs> yeah, you do a lot of snowmen. I they like the sell. Snowmen. Yeah, it's, it's very winter safe. So you could kind of mm -hmm. get away with, you can get away with uh, having a snowman up in, especially around here in November. Oh, gosh, Because yeah. it starts snowing then. And then you could keep them all the way up through January, if yeah. you wanted. When I stopped at the hardware store yesterday, they had all this Christmas stuff up and, and Halloween. I know. So, yeah. I mean, the the one gallery is like, no, it's too soon. But it's just one person. It's not actually the gallery. And I'm just like, well, I'll just sell it someplace else. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, people are buying. Oh, Eve says the one with the ghost balloon. I forgot about him. Oh, that one's cute. We did that one during a live. Yeah, I forgot about him. And he's got the little spider on his hat. That one licensed on something. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about I don't even, I do not remember that one at all. It's probably on a garden flag. But then sometimes, even though it licenses and I sign the contract, I don't always even know if it makes it to market until I get a royalty check. Um, a lot of times, I mean, there's such a gap. Like a year almost, depending on the manufacturer. I don't. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they change their minds. And it doesn't even make it to market. Yeah, I've got some Halloween stuff that's, um, I don't think it's this year. So Stony Creek does light, lighted glass with the, you know how the snowman with the lights, mm -hmm. down, the frosted crackle glass. Some of my Halloween arts can be on that. I think that's fun. I sound like a bragging. I am bragging, I guess. It's cool. Yeah, I liked when we could um, go visit your flags and lows. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I'm not doing it quite as, I mean, I, I still send art to my agent, but it's not quite as licensable. Sometimes, it'll, like if I did a grouping of snowmen, it might license better, or a snowman holding, you know, a bucket of snowballs and a cardinal, and I tend to do kind of... Um, more simple things. That's okay. I probably should wait before I put another layer on. It's kind of pulling up. Yeah, it's threatening. It's threatening. I think we'll work on the green. Yeah, a bigger brush would go quicker. Let's see if I can do it. My comfort zone is lots of control and little brushes. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I would tell someone else, don't fight it, just do what you do, you know. So that's not that much bigger. Three-eighths inch. I might do it anyway. A little yellow, a little white. Thanks for fetching my... Mm-hmm. No problem. You got like 10 minutes okay. to normal time. So some of the um, aqua is coming through, which I don't mind. Whoops. Friday, there's a simple berries, uh, berry branches in a white, like a milk pitcher, yellow background that you guys might like painting. Well, we think, I think it's posting Friday. We haven't. 
totally got the work done on it yet. I just sent it to Emily, so... I might not have given her enough time to get it done. Now I kind of put you on the spot, didn't I? Oh, it'll be up. It'll be up. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I did that, but I, I didn't mean to do that. So even if I went to a bigger brush, it has a point, so I can still... <laughs> I can still... Let's see, am I in frame? I can still, you know, go back to my comfort zone. It was sort of kind of painting outside the lines there a little bit. Yeah, I was just kind of wondering what people were working on. I'm working on crochet that'll save the chairs in my living room. Because <laughs> yeah. the kitties like to sit on them. Yeah. Well, Let's my see. in this place, the floor upstairs is cold. I wonder if it's because I'm on the end. It's. Mm -hmm. I think the floor is even. No, it's not a. Well, a part of it's above ground, towards the fireplace. That might be why. Oh shoot! Why did my thing do that? Did you just swear? I said shoot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm just playing, you guys. I'm mostly just. It's fun to hang out with you. Some people want real-time videos, not that many, but I get a, I get a couple comments. Um, so then she can see how slow I paint. And... Um, Eve asks, Annie, can you do a painting of a quail? I saw that on your list, right? Yeah, I was, like well, your... I was telling you earlier that um, she requested, I think, I'm pretty sure I responded to your comment that, I think it was a quail reading a book, if I read it correctly. And I... I responded in the comment that I added it to my request list and I always say no promises because I have requested things that have taken <laughs> hey don't throw me under the, the I big can't bus remember what, I, what it was that um oh, what was it well, the one painting in your living room took me quite a while well yeah but I'm thinking like there's I'm like, something oh, I never did there's, there's oh there's plenty of probably of things you never, never did, did. Yeah. that I put on the list um, let's see what else. Doesn't mean, I mean, I've done, there's been a couple occasions where the timing was perfect and I did the request like right away. Yeah, yeah. And then that's when I pick on you for never, for doing like, yours. yeah, for never doing mine. Because <laughs> yeah. somebody asked something that was like in season or like perfectly timed where you're like, oh, I think I'm going to, I'm feeling like a bird. And then someone asks like, oh, you should do this kind of bird. And you look it up and you're like, oh, I like that bird. I think it might have been the, the English. You think it was the English Robin? Robin. Uh, Coral right. says, working in a gallery, very hard to get a winter picture. I had to beg to get a winter scene for our window this year. Oh. Huh. We do a, um, the downtown gallery I sell in, we do a, I guess a winter show where we all have a piece or two in it. Mm hmm That's wintry. Yeah. Or, I guess it probably winter just fits the vibes. Yeah. Well, they try to keep it just generic. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Gravy says um, that he's working on a graveyard scene. Oh, I, I think I saw that in the group. That was cool. I saw that in my email, but I haven't gotten to my emails yet. But I saw it pop up when I, um, you know, when my email popped up. But yeah, I haven't looked at it. That sounds spooky. Mm. And Coral's getting ready to do a pet portrait. Ooh. Ooh, challenging. What kind of pet? Yeah, a puppy, a kitty, a bird. I always get, I get nervous, especially before pet portrait. <gasps> oh, Pat says, I would love to see you use a palette knife, Annie, going back to your roots. <laughs> <laughs> your origin story of acrylic painting. I, yeah, I, I uh, started, for those who, it's not that great of a story, but just the quick mm -hmm. version is, so I was, I was, Painting in watercolor and trying to license that, but there's so many artists doing that. And I was listening, and this, this is getting to be a long story already. <laughs> I was listening to Leslie Seda. She did Artists Helping Artists podcast um, and did a lot of palette knife expression painting. I just loved it. It was very loose. And I thought, well, I'll paint with a palette knife so it'll be loose and different. Maybe I can license it, you know, all those kinds of things. I'm going to work on the nose. Um, but the funny thing is it was in short order. I was doing pet portraits with a palette knife and they were getting so real looking that I just switched to a brush because it was harder with a palette knife. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And I was getting in there with little, like, almost like pointillas and little dots. It was just kind of crazy. But. Um. I do like palette knife. <laughs> oh, Carl says, I would like to see an old-fashioned Santa, which makes me think of that one Santa that, like, was, sta- oh, was half yes. painted for so long. <laughs> He was looking pretty blue. Yeah, he was. Yeah, you were. He was just underpainted. Yeah. Um, He's never seen the light of day. No, I've never finished him. Is he somewhere, or did you end up painting over that canvas? I think. Or, I, I think I pitched it. You pitched it. Because I it sat there for years. Yeah, I remember you started him at the tail end of a Christmas, or like maybe yeah. in the beginning. I can't remember, but I just remember. Your... Well, then I'm like, well, I need to do this. I really wanted to, but it's kind of like, well. And I could probably license him, but really it'd be better if I did, you know, five Santas in different poses. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I just couldn't get back to him. We'll have to put a Santa back on the list. I mean, I really love YouTube, and I really love selling into galleries, and I really love having an agent, but you have to feed all those things. Mm-hmm. And I haven't been feeding YouTube as well with, my, with moving here, and then I'm going to move again. That just sounds like an excuse. I will put a real Santa on the list. <laughs> And that would kind of be like one of your first people-y people. Well, because like you, you got... I don't do people. Yeah, yeah, you don't do people. And you got pretty deep into the details of his face. You just kind of like got like first layer of... It's yeah, he looked down. really... Well, because he was on a brown background too, mm-hmm. so he was pretty... He looked bad just because the color was still really dark and... Oh, Coral's doing a dog for her pet portrait. Oh. Um, Leanne says, any new Christmas painting planned? Yeah, I well, I Christmas. Usually, you kind of do like can be for Christmas, but they're like wintry. So it's I that's guess. upstairs too on my printer. I drew this snowman in chalk pastel that I think is cute. Do you want me to grab it? And I'm gonna make him sure if you don't mind. Yeah, I guess. I'll go grab I, they might want to see it. Mm-hmm. If they don't, then I'll, you can just get a little exercise. <laughs> um, jog. I'll so that'll jog. be new, and I was gonna do a traceable for it. I was thinking I should do the poinsettia, poins- how do you say it, poinsettia, poinsettia painting I did last year was actually pretty popular. I might do something like that again if I have time. I sound like really weird, but it's just because I don't know. I feel like a repeat. I just don't know if I'm moving how it's going to go, how much I'm going to get done this year. Normally I'm scheduled out a month, and then I, Emily has work a month ahead of time. And now we're doing it by the seat of our pants. So I was thinking that what Emily's bringing to me will be next week, but I'm not totally sure. But I, I want to get a traceable done for it first. But I just, I think it's kind of funny. You guys Shout can out let... to Marty who said, I love snowmans. Here's another snowman. Here's another snowman. <laughs> this, this is the chalk pastel. Um, I used the, if you were here last week, I used the, the mungyo, the little Japanese sticks, to do the whole thing. And then a, the black is a charcoal pencil. I, ha- I didn't have my charcoal pencils yet when I drew this. Or my uh, pastel pencils yet. Anyway, I think he's kind of funny. Thank you, hon. Yeah. Uh, Susie says, I'm late. Love how this snowman is coming along. Beautiful background color. Yeah, I like that blue. Hey, Susie, thanks for... There, there is no late. We come anytime, leave anytime, and, you know, consider yourself art hugged. All of you. It's just the whole point is just, just hanging out. And if you have questions, ask questions, or if I think of stuff, I'll, uh, I'll talk about it. I can't. Sometimes my brain doesn't want to do two things at once. <laughs> Um, let's see. Here. I think I'm going to like this aqua color. It's a little harder to paint on. So my, my, um, sorry, honey. Okay. My paints are semi-transparent for the most part because my yellow's transparent. My quinacridone's semi-transparent. The box is half full. So it, it's, uh, it's going to take coats or, or use white for coverage and then come back and make it darker. Go ahead, honey. Oh, I was just going to say, um, Gravy said... Um, I did a yellow, let's see, I did a yellow Santa last year and posed it, oh, post on FB, okay, I remember, oh, I do, I oh, remember yeah. that Santa, I remember him. Uh, Eve says, I can't believe it's been a year. For that me. is really pretty, I know, it's been, it, I feel like all of a sudden it was fall again. <laughs> I feel like we barely got out of fall and then it was kind of, it was summer for a minute and then fall. Yeah. 
It's crazy. But also cut back to some live where I'm like, it's been too hot for too long. Yeah. Uh, Cindy says, love him. Marty says, I've seen that snowman. This I one? Think, I think in re- the other snowman. Well, I'm sure. It's around the time she sent it. I Maybe mean, not. I, you know, I'm sure that there's a version out there. Um, that makes me a little nervous. You could send it to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't be the only person who does pink and green scarf. Well, my favorite thing is that... Um, but I mean, so, just laying on the, on the... Yeah, the chalk wall. Uh, so you, you kind of... You slow down on the chalk videos and you just really change it out seasonally. And um, you told me some... I think it was like before a Wednesday. And you, or maybe it, it was when I came over on a Sunday. But um, you're like, I redid the chalk wall. You have to go look at it and go upstairs or something. And I... Go up and I look at it and I'm like, you did that last year. It was the same yeah. green hat, pink stri- green and pink stripe hat. When I did the snowman. Yeah. Yeah. And so like you could literally find two of almost the same exact <laughs> snowman if you go a year apart in the chalk videos. Yeah. No, this one, funny. I haven't done one laying down before, yeah. personally. Uh, and I mean, I'm sure some other artists, I mean, I was thinking like, okay, how many different poses could I come up with? You yeah. Know? Uh, Leanne says, cute snowman, would love to see you paint a Santa. Ooh, we're getting boats for the Santa. Santa would be fun. I there is a, I do have a little Santa ornament mm-hmm. that's quite simple, just FYI. I think he's from last year. I don't know. Or maybe you have two different Santas. No, I think I only have one. Only one? Okay. He's more illustrative. It's starting to look pretty good. Eve says, I have to go soon. Oops, I don't thanks want for that. hanging. Yeah, thanks for coming. Super appreciate it. You're two minutes over your normal time slot if you need it to dry. I was thinking I might put you. some color on the scarf. Okay. And then I might like this angle brush. It's not much bigger, but I can kind of get into some crevices. I know I haven't been in the um, Annie Tro Art Friends, Friends Annie Tro Art Friends <laughs> Facebook group much. I've popped in a little bit. I'm kind of anxious for a, like I've been painting the last couple of days and it's felt so good. I'm anxious to get settled. I think that'll be nice. I think Freckles is now settled, and I'm going to move her again. Mm-hmm. I'm going to move, friend. Oh, mm-hmm. she's talking? Yeah, she's like, oh, great. Oh, she t- That's like I'm she's sleeping. Like, oh, oh, no, she got up. Yeah, she got up. I don't know if anybody could hear that. Oh, I think I heard it a little bit. <laughs> oh, did you? Just a little bit. In your headphones? Just a little I'm going to Emily's for Halloween. She she has cute decorations and food planned and movie planned, and we're hoping we have a trick handful or, of trick or treaters. Trick or treaters this year. Yeah, you came over last year too, and I was, that was my first year that Chase and I were in the house, and I was so excited for trick or treaters. You were, and then you were so disappointed. And then I was like, oh no, we got way too much candy. So Chase and I haven't even bought candy yet, and we're gonna go to the grocery store. Either I think like tonight or tomorrow, and we'll just get like a bag. Oh, I'm going tomorrow if you need something. I'm just, just going to grab some milk and juice. Me. Nee. What do you guys do for Halloween? I mean, I don't. Not everybody does. Not everybody celebrates it. Oh, hi, friend. Do you want up? You want up? Well, that's kind of weird. Do we talk about her too much? Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. So most of I'm just. Changing the values so that I have edges. You want to come up? Here, I'll get you. I'll get you. Ugh. I got too much paint, so I'm going to wipe some off on my. Oh, here, I could do this. Wipe it off on my brush and then spread what's already on there. I think she had too much of a nap today. I'm going to make that, ooh, look how strong that phthalo is. It's a 
a strong color. She had too much of a nap. I think she had too much of a nap. You let your child sleep too long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't wake her up for a nap. For... Hi, Michael. She, she demands attention. I can hear her purring. Is she on your mm-hmm. lap? Yeah. All right. I might. Well, as long as I have this in my brush, I think I might just put... So I am, off and on, I get this on, I love any question on, I don't always see them on Facebook, I'll see them on YouTube usually. Um, oh, I don't know. Where, where was I going? Oh, requests for real time, which I get. Oh, I so get that. Um, but like a lot of, like, I don't know if you can tell, but like, even this is, we're going to be lucky if we get this done in an hour and a half. I just, I like to take my time. That's my speed. Well, and then I also like layers. So nothing wrong with requesting. I think I am getting faster. Maybe eventually I'll get there. The other thing too, though, is if you're trying to see how I do each brush stroke. I don't know that that helps you. You still have to learn how you like to apply the paint. I tend to aim for thin so I can put more layers on it, but maybe you want to get better coverage and put white in right away and you know you have to do you you can't help but do you it just comes out Are you laughing at what I'm saying no I'm laughing at Frickle oh. kind of like oh here here it comes like your own handwriting it is your own handwriting so just a little wet on wet blending but not worrying about it blending too well leave, a, leave some brush strokes in there I think she misses you too. Mm-hmm. Not that you come over less. I just think she misses you. You miss me. We're That's kind of thin, but I'm gonna let it dry to get more color on it. And sometimes having a smooth wood. Well, it has gesso on it, so it's kind of a little sandy feeling. But it can be a problem, too, because the paint slides. And I hope I'm in frame. Nothing's done. Um, yeah, it, I think you are, for, there's at least a, for now, yeah. Sorry, honey. Oh. There's an upside and a downside to everything. Sorry, I just keep talking. Sorry for you to jump in. Oh, Freckle is, Freckles needs attention tonight. Oh, you better thing? give it to her. Does your mom not give you enough attention? I've been trying to just whenever, of course, and then I'm spoiling her. But yeah, whenever, now, then she, now she's spoiled. <laughs> whenever she wants it, I've been trying to give it to her just because, you know. She, how long has she been? She's been in that house for, oh, I don't know, 13 years, 12 years. I rocked her world. <laughs> yeah. She's just a little old lady. Yeah, we're about two little old ladies. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm behind on chat. I've been playing with the cat. Well, yeah. She, she needs attention. Oh, I, while you're... I just thought of something. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yeah. So you can lighten your greens with white and get a minty color. Or lighten your green with some white and yellow and get a warmer color. You can, whichever way you like. Okay, go ahead. Let's see. I got to read it from far away because I have it. I don't want Freckle to hop on it, so I pushed it back. Oh, right. Let's see. Um, let's see here. Oh, Eve said, please do a Santa. Okay, everyone wants a Santa. You got to do a Santa. Well, we'll see what I have time for. <laughs> yeah. It's not like I don't want to. It's just, you know, I know that the snowmen are, will sell five times faster mm -hmm. or even more than that. Um, maybe someday I'll just be a YouTuber. That'll be my only income stream. But that's probably a ways, quite a ways down the road. Hmm. If you said, I trick or treat. For what you, when you, I think this is way back when you asked, what do you do for Halloween? <gasps> that's fun. Mm -hmm. I miss trick or treating. We need that a was kid. Oh, and I had a bag that would like 
Do you remember the bat? I don't know where we got that or what I got that from, but it it had like levels of how full it was, and it was like oh, yeah. keep going, and then like if it was like to the top, it was like jackpot. And you kept up with your four and a half year old brother and his friends. Yeah, <laughs> you'd have to run. Probably yes, yes. Yeah, you did a great job of keeping up. That's hard. Uh, Marty said, "I moved into a new house um, huh. last." I assume last year. Um, thought we would have lots of kids. Only one came. That was basically me. Yeah, that was Emily. That was me. I thought we would have like there's little kids in the neighborhood. Yes, you know, there's a just park. based on our area of where we live, I'm like, there's so many kids, and I like we bought full size candy bars. I'm like, I'm we're gonna be that house that people talk <laughs> about, and then we got like full size candy bars. We got like three bags of candy uh, outside of the full size bag of candy bars and I was I've said it a thousand times but like I was giving like the full size candy bars to the parents and I was giving kids fistfuls every time I saw one um let's see you were I felt bad for you You were not happy it it didn't make sense I know but this year we'll just I mean well I'll answer you won't have hardly anything and they'll have a bunch I know I'll answer the door when it rings you know but like we'll just watch movies and eat we don't have to worry about it. Um, Leanne says, me too, Marty. Not one kid. Oh. oh, I love it. I used to I used to sit on our front steps. and Yeah. Yeah, people would drive into the neighborhood, which I found, like my childhood neighborhood, which I found interesting because it's not like when I was little, like all my friends talked about driving into like the big, big neighborhoods, like the very, yeah, the, the, the very wealthy neighborhoods because yeah. they would get full-size candy bars. Yeah. Maybe it's because the houses are closer together. It's easier to... I don't know what it is. ...hit a lot of houses. I don't, I don't know. know what it is. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to... I'll do a commercial when I get this scarf done. I'm mostly saying that so I remember. Marty says, I'm only buying a couple of small bags. I'm sure I will get many, LOL. Make sure you buy the candy that you'll end up eating. Cause that's what we're gonna do this year. <laughs> Mar- Marty is wise. Buy like we like we kind of did it last year, but we also got candy that we didn't like as much because you know for variety. But then we were stuck with a bunch of candy we didn't eat, yep. kind of thing. So we're gonna buy all candy that we like in case we get stuck with it. Almond Joy. Yeah, which oh, oh Chase we, hates what's Almond every, Joys. What? Yeah, that that is that your favorite? That's I one of my favorites, and Chase absolutely every time. He, People talk about their favorite candy. He goes, what is your favorite candy, Almond Joy? And I'm like, that's mine. <laughs> I wonder what so everybody else's. Mine's Snickers, M&M's. I like the Midnight Milky Ways, oh, too. Those are good. Um, Let's see. Melina says. Hey, Melina. Listening, giving my art student her lesson. She's painting a skull for the Day of the Dead. Ooh, yes. Ooh that's a great idea. That's a perfect project. It's yeah, smart. we've moved on into like winter. That's because I'm scared of I, you know, I want some cash flow and yeah. Well, gosh, I sold um, you sold quite a few paintings. The uh, cardinal with on the dark bluish background with the berries sold already, and it's got it has snow on it. And, oh, that's that got well. I suppose it got put up at the gallery because I just I put it up. By Mar- I mean I it, they'll sell now. You know. What. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Freckle. I laughed and she didn't like it. Oh, I, I sold I sold the cardinal on the dark blue background I just recently oh. painted with the snow and the red berries. Oh, yay. He was cute. Um, he sold right away, mm-hmm. even though it's not even Halloween. Yeah. People are buying it already for... Let's see. Um... Oh, Tinker said, I was hey, thinking Tinker. it was Thursday all day with like the uh, face. Oh, my gosh. I've been doing that a lot lately. Well, Emily, you had to remind me what day it was. You're like, it's only whatever day, Mom. Um, Monday, Monday or whatever it was. Yeah, but I've been doing that so much more, like, these last couple, like, maybe only last week and a half, two weeks, where, like, Chase and I just look at each other, and he's like, it doesn't feel like Tuesday. Like, he just did that yesterday. We were we, Chase and I went to the our yearly pumpkin patch trip um, yesterday, just the two of us. We went once with a couple friends, a friend that are couples, we went on a double date, there we go, to the pumpkin patch a couple weeks ago. But we did, like, the Just at Us trip because we have a very strict schedule um, of what we need to do. Well, that's where you got engaged. Patch. That, too. But, um... So you have to... 
You have to make it special. We, uh, and he just looks at me and he's like, it doesn't feel like Tuesday. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. What does that mean? Um, I don't know what day it is. Marty said they will come, be, they will be coming back this year. <laughs> Crying laughing face about all the kids. Um, Gravy says, I ate almost my whole bag of Reese's pumpkins, LOL. That's also why you don't Ooh. purchase too early. That's a good one. Because <laughs> then you've got to buy more of them. I wonder if that's Gravy's favorite. Ooh, um, Tinker says Almond Joy and um, Carmelo's. Oh. Caramelo's. I, I never know how to say that one. Yeah, I don't either. Caramelo's, I think, is how probably a good chunk of people say it. I think it probably depends on how you say, do you say caramel or caramel? Do a Scooby Doo roll roll. Is it pecan or pecan? Pecans. It's <laughs> it's candied pecans, but it's pecan pie. Pecan pie. It's pecan pie. You're my daughter. You can't be against me. But I'm both. <laughs> it just depends on the type. You're yeah, fine. I think almond joy. Almond joy. Oh, I'm looking to see it. We, oh, yes, Leanne also thought it was Thursday. Leanne and Tinker were on the same page. Oh, that's why Leanne asked us if we're moving to Thursday. Oh. Because she thought today was Thursday. I'm like, no. <laughs> there must be something in the air. I thought I just missed something, though. Because I've been having problems thinking about what day it was. It must be the weather. Gravy says, yep, they are better than regular PB cups. Oh. See, that's a, that's a chase ism it's like he thinks the he thinks the dark the the candy corn that has the the brown butts tastes different than the everything else candy corn and then he also thinks the that the maybe they do the halloween normal oreos that are just you know like the black cookie the chocolate cookie with the orange innards is it tastes different and it's better he would also probably agree that the um the pumpkin shaped Reese's taste better than the normal ones. <laughs> Probably. So I was just waiting for Emily to pause. Oh, yeah. Did Breathe. you want to say more? Because I jumped in no. fast. Mm -mm. So I just glazed with a little bit of yellow, which is really nice when your colors are semi-transparent. And just put it, like, right on top. As a, and you don't have to put any medium in it to glaze. I, you might if it's a heavy body. You know, and it depends on the brand. You haven't done your break yet. No, I was just going to do okay. it. I was just waiting for you to. And then <laughs> okay. I had that thing happen. Oh, and actually, I'm going to do this so I don't forget to. I'm gonna put a little, and it'll dry. This is where I really like layers. It takes more time to build it up, the values and the coverage, but I enjoy that a lot because I think it looks neat. And I can get kind of more depth of color going. I don't know if it shows up on the videos, but I might not do that over there. If it's everywhere, it's nowhere as I put it in more spots. Um, I'm going to talk to okay. you. I'm going to thank people. Okay. Oh. I boss her around, don't I, guys? Yeah, you're so bossy. Okay, I just want to take a quick second and thank Julie G and Eve, who's here tonight, are, uh, for sending money through PayPal. I super appreciate it. Your support means the world to me. And then I mentioned... I don't know if we could show it, but I've got a berry branch painting. Do you want me to grab it? Yeah, maybe. You're not getting any crocheting done if I keep making it hop up. I know. It's fine. Um, yeah, Emma's going to grab the berry branch painting, and I'll, that's going to post this Friday. Oh, gosh. Say the 25th, October yep. 27th, 2023. In case you're watching the replay, let's see if this will... Ooh. Okay, I don't think this will fit in there completely. Give it a nice scan. <laughs> So it's, it's simple. I think you guys will really enjoy it. The berry dots would be fun and relaxing to do, I feel oh, like. I thought the branches were too, although yeah. I fussed about them. I, I kind of did a V-shape. You really can't. So this is a bit of a teaser because I can't back up <laughs> enough for you to see. It's a sneak peek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Yeah. Um, that varnish dried pretty fast. Yeah. I like the, the little vase still wipes you kind of have been doing well and i've done some um structure gel is that what it's called yeah with that kind of a basic design which is really fun i was going to do it with the berries I'm like oh they're so little let's see i'm kind of thinking what am i thinking here i was thinking 
the headband on my snowman is solid, which you could just leave it. Grady says, I can't stand coconut. And my answer to that would be, it can't stand you either. <laughs> Hopefully he thinks that's funny. <laughs> I did it, and I did it as a kid. And Chase I, hates it too. I didn't, and for a long time, because I didn't, I just assumed I didn't like it. I'm like, oh. Chase. It's pretty good in some things. I think it's the texture in the, because like he doesn't mind coconut. He doesn't care for it, but like, you know, coconut, like pina colada has coconut flavoring. Mm -hmm. Usually he, he'll go for that, but I think it's the texture and the just straight up coconut flavor, which mm -hmm. I absolutely love. I guess, Gravy, you can go ahead and not like it, because then, then I get more. More for you? Yeah. They'll never be bought out of the store or anything. <laughs> um, let's see here. Janet says, your snowman is so cute with the sparkling heart emoji and the heart eyes emoji. Oh, thank you. It's starting to come to life. Like it's start Oh, Frosty, I suppose, is going to be the name of the snowman. Oh, I'm skipping ahead, but Gravy said, I had a bad experience with coconut milk. See, I don't like oh, coconut I've milk. I've never tried that. Or like, or coconut, because it's kind of like... I used to use coconut creamer because I'm lactose intolerant, so I avoid like normal coffee creamers. And so I've tried coconut creamer and it kind of has like, the last sip is always kind of chalky. So I don't like coconut water or coconut hmm. milk, but like the shaved coconut and chocolate, that's good. With an almond on it. I remember I was like, <laughs> I was, oh sorry. That's an almond joy. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So I would have been younger than third grade, so maybe first, second grade. Mm -hmm. I think a neighbor made a lamb. I don't know why it was a lamb. I have a winter birthday, and it was all it was a like a white cake. With oh, the this, lamb cakes! I've seen those with coconut frosting. Yes. And I'm looking at it, just doing my best not to cry. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> you know, the family birthday party thing. I'm just yeah. Like, oh. Your worst nightmare on your birthday. Oh. That's Where's the chocolate? <laughs> um, it might have been Easter too, though. Actually, I don't. I it, I was little. I might be confusing the memory, but go ahead. Uh, Leanne said a little senior moment about the um, mixing up the days. She thought it was Thursday. Oh. Janice says, "What kind of brush are you using?" It's a quarter-inch flat brush from Royal and Lane Nickel. Oh, I think I picked this one up because um, it probably was a little bit ago. So I got I broke this one out today. I'm working on a bird. I'm working on a nut hatch video. It's not looking like much yet. We're we're finding values and shapes, or I'm finding values and shapes. But anyway, I wanted something pointed and nice. So this is a number four round from Royal and Lane Nickel. I really like it, partly because it's new. So it comes to a really nice point. And it also will hold a little more paint because it's thicker down here. This one, if that was the one you meant, is a three eighths. 3 8 inch angle brush from Royal and Langnickel. It's a Royal and Langnickel night. It is. Yeah. Here, we'll throw a Princeton in there. I've got a little number two round from Princeton. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Just to get a different name in there. Nobody's sponsoring this video. The stream. Um, Marty said, take your time, Annie. I like how you paint heart emoji oh, thanks marty yeah it is it's just how i do it i think I'll, i mean i am faster i think eventually definitely i think even without it's not like you're um i don't know like i picture you when you always say like practicing getting faster i picture you you know like you're sweating over a painting um, dabbing it's like the cut scenes in a movie like you're dabbing your forehead it looks like you're working so vigorously yeah, I don't do and that. you're like timing yourself doing the same painting over and over again whereas i think you just get faster naturally <laughs> over time yeah you get a little more efficient it depends yeah. and it depends too like sometimes i'm just in a, like i was yawning before the live mm -hmm. sometimes it just depends on your energy level too all right let's work back on the white again oh janet says thank you for the um, brushes. Brushes. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. I um. Sometimes we I chat and I don't don't mention. And thank you for the little hearts. I see the little hearts oh, coming yeah. up in the. That's so cute. I like that. That's a feature, especially because um. Some of the like video or live stream people I watch, they are so big that it's like a members only chat. Oh. And I'm not a member, so you know I also spam the hearts. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, now I see a lot. Cute. Hi, heart people. Yeah, that's so neat. I, I appreciate it. I don't, I'm not looking at them, but that's why Emily says it, too, so I know. It'd be fun if we could set them, and then we could... Oh, wait, there is no... I was gonna... There is no literal, like, art hug emoji. It would be cute if we could put our own little things that, like, you could spam in there. Oh, speaking yeah, of... Yeah, go ahead. That popped into my head, too. Um, If you are... I haven't noticed it on mobile yet, um, or I, your iPad, which is also probably the mobile thing. Might be. Thing. Usually the iPad, and the if there's an upgrade update for the iPad, there's an update for mobile. Anyway, um, if you are watching on a, like a computer, you might notice that there is now a join button next to Annie's name, or if you go to the Annie Tro YouTube page. And um, we have been asked before, and I think we just were like, eh, we're far enough in. We'll add it on. So we added, uh, you added today, uh, yes, today. Uh, one, yes, just a single membership tier that it's just to say thanks and support the channel. I think event, maybe down the line we could do like a member perks type dealio. But for now, we're just doing a once a month or whatever. I think, is it four ninety nine? Yeah, just in case you like that method of support. It's, yeah. There's no pressure. No pressure. Just we added a join because a couple people throughout history have asked for it. People have asked for it earlier, but it's just it was – we were like, we don't need to add another thing. But I think we came to the conclusion we'll just start with just support us, buy you a tube of paint for once a month kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, Help pay the cable bill. Yeah, pay for the internet that we that we that we stream through. Um, yeah, so I haven't seen it pop through on mobile yet. I wonder since we literally did it today if it'll take some time. I think you also get some stickers. I was gonna look into adding some more stickers. Oh, we have to. Or is that just a later? We can thing? add emojis, and it says we need two more oh, yeah, the subscribes to add the emoji. Oh. And we had two more subscribes because I did it yesterday. Oh. So then I checked this morning, mm -hmm. and then I put. Like my the art hug that you made, and I put um, I put Artie up there, but it also says great big happy, um, and the emojis. I think there's like five of them, but mm -hmm. I don't know that they reduce that well. So there's some custom emojis, and then the badges for how long you've been a member are just stars right now. Mm -hmm. But I'll poke around and I'll change them up. So I guess you, I guess as a member yeah. you do get those emoji sticker emojis mm -hmm. or whatever, but more it's just. A thanks and a support. Yeah. Well, if you don't want to do like I, we've gotten some super thanks. On that too. Videos. Yeah. They just want it simple. Mm -hmm. They don't have to remember. Mm -hmm. And then I picked uh, four ninety nine because I kind of sorted the uh, PayPal donations we get into three buckets: low, medium, and high. And then I took the um, what would it be? Is are it you mean, doing are you finding an mode? average? Me, no, I didn't do the average. The mean, medium, mode. It's the one that shows up the most. The mean? Is that the mean? Median? Or the most? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, so $5 <laughs> came up by far the most in the low bucket. Okay. So I just like, okay. Four, and then YouTube has doesn't have 5 It has four ninety nine. It was the most common. So I'm like, okay, that must be, you know, what people like. We need a teacher to tell us if that's the mean, median, or mode. Yeah. Oh, Eve says, I got to go. Bye. If you're still here, Eve, bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. Yeah, see, I like that I can kind of just scumble on and work up. And if I get too much, I can put the shadow back in. I can just mix some of this aqua with, with white and get the shadow back in there if I overpaint it. But I like that I can kind of sneak up on the, the values. Oh, I think I like the green with the aqua's okay. I wasn't it's sure cute. I was going to like it. And I think I mentioned this. I totally painted over the eyes, but I can still see where they are. And I'm thinking I might want some... Do we want pink cheeks or blue cheeks on it? Or blush? I don't know. I don't either. Maybe someone in chat will know. I think I might do pink. Or I, I always ask, and then I just do what I want. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll have to, if I have time, we'll have to splatter. 
But see, you know, that one layer starts looking, I think it looks like frosty snow. Mm-hmm. And I've got a little bit of a chalk line, but I'll wash that off tomorrow. I don't know if you can see that. I thought I heard something. Yeah, oh, I, I heard the ice upstairs. Ooh, sorry, I think my hair might have hit my mic. My ponytail whipped it. Yeah, I like that the background shows through. Mm -hmm. And then you could say, like, if you were in an art class or something. Oh, it probably was the ice upstairs. Yeah. Um, you know, it unifies the painting because the background's coming through the snowman. Um, you sound all arty. Yeah. Susie says those highlights are amazing. Oh, good. They're starting to work. I should look at the, I should look at the stream and see how it looks. I think that's fun. We could even go a little lighter. Well, and now the blue is helping me with the shadow. It's cooler. Oh, what do I want to do? I don't have yellow over here, and it kind of bugs me. But I, was, I didn't put yellow, as much yellow there. I was going to make them different, but I think I'm going to put a little... I think that looks so much better than my traceable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Just has color color cells. Gravy could feel that I hadn't. I uh, just a second, like maybe a minute ago. Gravy. So Gravy said, "Smash the like button." <laughs> and He's just a minute so ago, I looked down that. and I realized I didn't like it. So I think he could he could sense it. He could tell. Thank you, Gravy, for taking care of us. I need to go look at his painting. I love that. I love seeing what everybody's up to in that Facebook group. There's no pressure to join it. It's just if you want to show me what you're working on or you want to hang out with other really nice people, it's a great place. But I don't want anybody to feel pressured to do anything. So whatever works for you. Join it or else. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Is that, like, is that not what you meant when you said that? No. <laughs> it's like your bad cop. <laughs> Am I going to have to talk to you after the live yeah. stream? She's 27 years old. Am I going to have to have talk with you? Yes. I'm almost losing those eyes. Might want to put them back in. Just going to keep shaping him. Him? Frosty? Is that a him? Now that makes that shadow look even darker. Oh, yeah, I was going to look. I always go kind of far. Boy, he could be done, almost. Yeah, when I, I'm thinking about that crane painting that recently posted, mm -hmm. um, I originally wasn't going to paint all those feathers, but they got to be kind of, I mean, it took a long time. It got to be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. You got in the weeds. Oh, it was, it was fun weeds. Mm -hmm. Well, and part of why I liked it was the pose, and then the feathers on the back are kind of standing up a little bit. I like the shadows. Oh, I think that's the one I saw. Um, so Deb, Deborah says, um, I hadn't been on Facebook in six years and went back on to join your group. Oh. Couldn't believe I could still get in. Wow, oh. well, thanks for coming wow. back for us. Yeah. It's because I was threatening. <laughs> well, and you know, I have friends that just complain about Facebook, but I'm like, I'm on it for business. Mm -hmm. And if I like anything, it's like a manufacturer or what I see one of you guys or something, mm -hmm. and then I'm off. So I, I suppose I've trained Facebook not, I mean, I think they still do show you the weird stuff once in a while. Yeah. Just to see if you'll bite. Yeah. Kind of like YouTube will show me videos and like, why are you showing me that? It's just kind of like a phishing email almost. Like, yeah, are you going to bite? Fishing. Are you going to bite? But for the most part, I don't have that the ex awful experience that my friends do. Mm -hmm. But I think it's because I don't. I'm, I'm actually a bad 
person. You're a bad Facebooker. I mean, honestly, me. I same. am a bad Facebooker, and I don't. I'm never on Instagram since I'm logged into, or I have like the permissions of too many people's accounts. I rarely ever do. I scroll my own feed, and I've oh, just been yeah. like scrolling it for work or to post or whatever for a client. Mm-hmm. Um, Gravy says the painting I shared. I think that's the one I saw. Um, the painting I shared was a monster mash from. The Ghost Hunters show, LOL, um, oh. Shadow Creatures, Night Vision, Ghosts. I saw that one. Did you? I, yeah. I saw the email, I'm pretty sure. Um, was it Man and Hat Man. I think. Yeah. yeah. I just have to go look at it. I haven't. I saw it pop up, so it had to have been in my email. Yeah, that's, I think that's the one I saw. I was, I hopped on to post something or make sure something posted for a client, and I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know if I liked it because I I had to piece out so fast, but oops, I saw oops. it. It's cute. I just cool. colored outside the lines, and I'm going whoops. That's what's so nice about acrylics. Of course, you could kind of clean them up with oils too. You just clean up the edge like I did there. But you can pretty much wash off what's under. I mean, if I scrub, this white would come up because it's not cured. Is maybe the right word? But I could clean up little things here and there. Let's um, put the eyes back in and get the mouth back in. Did I get enough of a variation in value there to make any difference on that? Oh, you cannot see that on the live stream. <laughs> Do a screenshot. I've been forgetting to pick it up. Our last few lives have been upright. I'm still thinking about the chalk pastels. I used them on the berry branch painting I showed you a little, like a minute ago, a few minutes ago. And um, I think it worked better than watercolor pencils. And then it, it just uh, dissolved right into my painting, which was nice. But then you want to use red or whatever color, orange. There. Oh, that kind of shows. Oh, he looks so kind of filled in and nice. So the live stream is definitely a great way for me to step back and look at it. Mm -hmm. um, and smoother. The videos always smooth them out. They smooth me out, which I don't mind. <laughs> did you know that's, did you feel that coming? Yeah. <laughs> I've got, like I've got, I'm hunched over, I wonder if my nose is in there. I'm so far over my palette. I'm just looking for kind of a Payne's gray. Well, maybe a little darker. So paint's gray, I think. I'm not a color expert expert. But it's like a blue gray. Ooh. Even my new brushes got little hairs. Hey, they're gonna, they're like little lumps of coal. It's okay if they're wobbly. Right? Mm -hmm. I literally say that when I'm by myself. Remind myself it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna grab a little water just to get a little bit better flow. Yeah, I like this brush. Probably because it's new. I might look that up a little bit. I kind of like that. Let's try that again. Let's put some paint down. And then my fingers always have paint on them. I kind of like that. I was going to paint over it with white again, but I'm kind of dry brushing now that it's my brush is drying out a little bit. Oops. Cool. I don't think my eyes are quite dry enough to... Actually, let's put a little black in them, maybe. I'm terrible. I rinse off my brush, and I'm terrible about wiping it off. I just need to get in the habit. It's 
So I don't, that's so close in value. I don't know if it even shows up. All right, when those eyes dry, I'm going to put a little more, like, snow over them. Just a little glaze or something. Put the cheeks on. We could put more detail, like more fuzz detail in the scarf. I've got 20 minutes. Here, let's get the cheeks on. Actually, I, I, my go-to brush is always little. and I, They always say use the biggest brush you can. It helps you be looser. It helps it to be more... You know, have more expression, goes quicker, and I just don't do that very often. If you look back, gosh, you know, I was worried when we first started doing this, I wouldn't be able to think of things to say, and I just ramble on and on and on. <laughs> um, if you look back at my old YouTube videos, you can see that I've gotten better. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Yeah, but I just, I, I mostly say that because, like, it doesn't, like everybody does. Everybody is on the journey. So I have quite a bit of water. Maybe not enough water. That's going to be too much water. I can see it. Sometimes I don't aim very well with my water. Hmm. Hmm. If it's too pink, we can come over it with white. Or we can... Do the finger smear. Am I in? Yes. Hmm. Sometimes I get it and sometimes I push it too far. I think I like the pink with the green. Okay, there. I dropped a little water on my um, background. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see that it... It's a little lighter, which means it's waking up the background, even though I painted it yesterday. Sometimes it can take a few days to a week to be totally... I think cured's a decent word. Mm-hmm. Cured's a good word. Mm, Gravy says, holy moly, my brother just got married and didn't tell anyone. Well, congrats to oh, your brother. Holy moly. <laughs> that is a holy moly. You must be stunned. Kind of sounds romantic. Depending on what they did. I think that's going to be all right. Is our nose good enough? It's sweet. I'm going to hold it up and then hopefully the delay isn't too long. I'm going to just take some water. You could take a uh, matte medium, um, an extender, anything water. I'm just using water to thin out the paint. I kind of want to, I don't, I'm, I might end up painting these black again. I think I like that. I'm going to let it dry and see what it looks like. Oh, I forgot to look at the street. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to add a little texture because I've got a little bit more. Well, yeah, we could do so many things. Um, it could be fun to even like, let's see. Oh, we'll use that Princeton. If you wanted to like make dots. Oh, here we could do that with the snow. But like I could make a fuzzier scarf with some dots. But I think I'm just going to make a fuzzier scarf. I think that's dried probably. By just adding some brush strokes. That's going to be too dark. Ooh, Gravy says found it through... Facebook, LOL, stunned indeed. Oh, yeah. That would be very stun-worthy. 
And he also says, love it, Annie. Oh, thank you so much. That's sweet. We need a gravy question. He's so good at knowing things. Oh, like something that <laughs> something for I can't, gravy. I can't think of an, an example right now. There was going to be going, what? And I just yeah. threw him under the bus. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just... People look, so I... Um... Well, and then with a larger painting, if you paint, the, you buy the thicker canvas or any size, any width canvas, you paint the sides, they don't have to frame it. And a lot, a lot of artists will say, well, I paint it black, they don't have to frame it, but I don't know. I just, I have a limited experience and people think they need to, but maybe it's just the people I run into. Yeah. It's not like it's a huge statistical sample I've got going. I'll probably change my mind down the road after I said all that. Okay, let's try a little white. Oh, here, we can do a little white with no, not adding the yellow. You haven't peer reviewed that. No. I feel, I say stuff, I'm like, I don't actually know. <laughs> you know? I yeah. kind of catch myself after yeah. I said it. I'm like, I don't really know. I get comments that they like it, but they don't have to frame it. Well, and the other thing too is that I don't pay for a frame. And then it, oh, it's not always true, but a, I mean, I've sold a few with frames, but a lot of times they don't want the frame that's on it. I've sold a couple. <laughs> gravy gave you a gravy answer anyway. He said, the snowman is a wordless children's picture book by Britain, uh, British author Raymond Briggs, published 1978. Huh. I did not know that. Or gravy fact, maybe. Yeah, the facts. <laughs> Do we like this or is this driving us nuts a little bit? Why is the sky blue? Oh, well, um, <laughs> you don't have to answer that. <laughs> I, I feel devious, Emily, even in the, her chuckle. <laughs> I think you know why. Yeah, I, I just know it's something about reflecting the color of the ocean is all I know. <laughs> and I think that's the answer, and I'm not really sure. The, the light waves bending? Yeah. Well, now we need to know. <laughs> Emily. I kind of have the same value going. Do we want to be able to see the edge of the scarf better? I don't know that that achieved anything there. So you can go darker or you can go... I'm going to add yellow now again. Susie says... The snowman is so cute, getting me in the mood for Christmas. Yeah, it's a little early. I know. She's skipping over my favorite holiday. No, we did. What did we do? Oh, I did the crow and the pumpkin. Well, yeah, but we haven't even got there yet. Oh. We have like four more days. Five more days? That's sold. Five more? Uh, uh, it's a, yeah, a week. Oh, no. a week. Yeah, it is a week. No. No. Six. Tuesday. Tuesday's Halloween, Six days. Right? Six days away. <laughs> Our brains. Yes. Yeah, no. Or especially me. Yes. No. no uh. So you don't have to do this playing, but this is the stuff I like to do. I like the texture in his scarf. I haven't looked up in a minute. Oh, at the video. It's better? Yeah. Excuse me. I was me. just reading chat from my phone. Oh, good. I mean, that's your job. That's cute. Just kind of play with the values a little looks bit. Looks soft. It looks snuggly. A little more fuzzy. Mm -hmm. It does look fuzzy. A little fuzzier. You have to say it like that. Mm -hmm. Kind of like your Eeyore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder what people think sometimes. Oh no, Gravy gave an answer. The elements in the atmosphere scatter the sunlight. 
mostly the oxygen and hydrogen making this, oh, making the sun look yellow. He gave us the answer for oh. the sun looks yellow. Ooh. That's kind of Tim the Tool Time Taylor there that I did. That's interesting. I love it. I mean, I learn stuff from you guys all the time. I love it. Tim, the, I just I just heard you in my ears say Tim the Tool Time Taylor. I was gonna go. Tim Rrr. the Tool Man. Oh, that Taylor. Tool Man. Oh, Tool Time. Yeah. And Tool, tool Time man. was his TV show. Tool Time. Yeah. Or, yeah. Boy, that was a while ago. I'm getting fussy about my fuzz. <laughs> I think I can stop. We could put a little more fuzz in his earmuffs or leave him. I, well, I like the fuzz. So you could put fuzz in the earmuffs. I want to have time. I want to Because he's got like a matching set, you know? We need to splatter. Oh, yeah. Was it last year during the live or the year before that I'm like, oh, I could splatter with something other than white? Yes, I think that was last year. I'm like, ooh, that's awesome. Janet says the fuzz, uh, the fuzzies in the scarf look amazing with the star eyes emoji, the heart eyes emoji, and a heart emoji. Wow, thanks, Janet. I have to always read out the emojis because the emoji, like, otherwise, I love the love. It's just words, you know. The the emojis add effect. Oh yeah, you're a very good uh, chat moderator. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you do an excellent job for no pay. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. That's trying to get the pity thing. Fabulous. <laughs> Marvelous. The best. I usually don't do people. I'm kind of doing people tonight. <laughs> oh, Gravy says Wilson was always my favorite character, or was my favorite <gasps> character, always hiding his face. Over the fence. I, isn't there an episode where, like, he holds a mini fence in front of his face, too? Oh, I think so, just so you don't see him. Yes. Yeah, I thought that was so, I remember that. I thought that was so funny. funny. He could have been young. Do we want a little yellow and white, or are we just going overboard here? It'd be nice if you guys could let me know before I do it, so I don't have to fix it. Oh, yes, yes, and much more props, yes. There was always something. I just, the, for some reason, I distinctly remember the mini fence. What was his name? No, I can't. Uh, Wilson. Wilson. The neighbor. Well, I went to Wilson, the uh, volleyball. The volleyball. <laughs> Wilson. And then I thought, well, that's not right. I kind of lot there. That kind of brought that up because it was close in value. Kind of pushing the values. I wish I knew who, who came up with values do the work and color gets the credit. You. No. Oh. Lots of artists have said it. I think I even heard it as a kid in art class. I don't know if I like that. It's fine. I could have left it alone three times ago, probably. All right, let's splatter. I mean, putzing. Groovy says The Castaway was a good movie. Yeah, yeah another good Wilson. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Yeah. One of my favorites. Uh, Gravy says, I've never heard that. Makes sense, though, about the... The credit or whatever the oh value uh, or uh, va yeah values do the work color gets the credit mm -hmm. and th that might not be the actual thing that might be somehow I've changed it in my head but it's in that ballpark yeah values you can um, not be that great of a drawer or, or painter or whatever mm -hmm. label you want to put on it but you get good values going um, even if it's all kind of really high light high key values um, mm -hmm. totally. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to say it this way, even though it's not, really not a great way to say it. It sells the painting. Mm 
Yeah. yeah. I don't like that it sells the painting. I don't like how that... But it, it, it makes... It really does the work. Well, and it could not even, like, literally sell the painting. It just... It's what... So it, people go... Ooh. Yeah. It, it's what... In your brain sells the painting. Well, and Thomas Kincaid painted a lot of dark, low-key paintings and then had pops of glowing light. A lot of people like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like my, like the cardinal that was on a really dark background and I had it kind of glowing. A lot of people like that. Mm -hmm. But there's a gorgeous winter painting at the gallery right now. With a, it's a Dar Vander, Vanderport is her last name. Um, she's got a, it's a light value paintings, kind of pinks, kind of blues, snow scene, lots of texture. It's really pretty. Um... So me being, Oops, I don't have any. I don't have any Dove wrappers. Go ahead, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> me being the nail polish fanatic I am, um, I would agree that like the, what, what I would agree with the values do the work, but the whatever, whatever you just said, the, <laughs> the saying you said because there's a um, a great like nail polish brand that I love their formula. But she, in, in my opinion, she is not good at color story. Like, the values don't, they're very, like, contrasting. So, like, you can do a purple and a yellow and a green and an orange all together. But, like, oh, yeah. the values all fight each other. So, like, I, and I like to wear. It's, they're all screaming at you. Yeah. So, like, if, if um, a nail polish brand, like an indie nail polish brand does, like, a fall color line, like, I'll wear. I'll do some kind of nail art so then like there's multiple of the fall color line in the nail art because they're all new and I all want to use them at once. But I can't do that with her. So then I'm like, well, I'm not going to just buy one color to just wear that one color because I buy them in bulk. She or like I like to buy a whole like set or whatever. She doesn't do like a collection of like she does a collection. calm ones or something. Well, I mean, she does a co I'll have to show you her. She does a collection, but she's just, I think it's, her picking the colors instead of, like, maybe someone with a more art, artsy background that, like, sees color better. So I think she's just kind of making color stories of colors she likes that are, you know, like, she'll do all fall, fall colors. So it's, like, there's an orange and there's a purple and there's a brown or something, but they just don't look good together. They don't, like, talk to each other at all. Yeah, they're not friendly. Mm -mm. They fight each other, though, rather than being friendly. So then when you want to wear them all together, it doesn't look good. Gosh, she could even Google. I know. I'll have to show you. Because, like, I really I really like her formula. And I, I buy her basics, but... Let's see. I think I'm going to... I have to think about what's what here. I'm getting um, paint on my hands. The nice thing is it pretty much just comes off. So I end up buying other people that have not as good formula because I'm like, oh, the colors. And those all look good together and I can buy them all and I'll wear them all in one go. And some of them are just your personal preference. Somebody might love what you're trashing. To, that, well, yeah, that's why I'm also not naming what I'm trashing. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> I've noticed I've avoided, like, I keep being like, oh, yes, a new line's coming out. And then I'm like, oh, these don't really, like, go together that great. And maybe if I just kept buying them, I could then, like, pair like last year's fall with this year's winter, like if there's a purple and a blue that look good together yeah. kind of thing or something, but. Well, she probably just doesn't know. Yeah, my number one complaint is just. She just doesn't know. The, well, and the if you, value of the colors she picks, they all fight each other. Oh, the value? So they're all the same value? No, like or like it's like, it, there's like a, it's the not this, but like, let's say it's a fall and there's just like, too peachy of like an orange that doesn't look good with the brown maybe the brown's too blue and like there's just something about oh they don't, she's not kind of harmonizing yeah there, there's, there's no not harmony a, there's no like verse yeah like they're not all warm or even if you do cool it just because you know you do compliments really well they don't like yeah they pop against each other but they aren't like fighting yeah, hers just aren't making sense. Yeah, I'll have to show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I will splatter the other side. I love the splatters. I do too. They're so fun, except for I <laughs> like the tape over his eyeballs. Well, I just didn't. I could wipe it up. <laughs> yeah, usually I have like I I have Dove chocolate almost always mm -hmm. in the house, and then the the foil wrappers work really well. 
to you know rip and fold and. Mm hmm. But I think oh one thing I wanted to show you before we go, just in case you haven't seen this before, you can take I was talking about we could use this brush to make dots. Any you could use a bigger handle for bigger dots, but any round handle you could use this, but it's not as round. I don't know if you can see that. So. I'm going to take my brush handle, you just stick it in your paint. I learned this when I worked at uh, Paint Your Own Pottery Place. And the kids love it because you make nice little dots. I think that's so fun. I think I'll sign it right there. And I also like that I get some like bigger snowflakes coming forward. Now I've got four and I've got them almost in a box shape. So sometimes when I do that, then I'll just put a couple more on that I wasn't really planning on. Where? I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to line them up, but I almost line those. I'm, you know, depending on how you do it, I line them up. Let's get one in here. Okay, that's enough. But sometimes varying your dots can be just a little bit, I don't know. You might like it. Let's just put it that way. All right, I'm not going to sign it just because all my splatters are wet. We'll do a screenshot. I like the teal and the green. I wasn't sure. Marty says, I love spending Wednesdays with you guys. Oh. We love spending Wednesdays with you, too. Yeah, we really it's my love it. Day. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm looking at my painting. I'm evaluating my painting. Yeah, um, we really love it. And Susie says, thank you, Annie and Emily. Thanks for hanging, Susie. Since we're talking so much about color, color harmony, if you use primaries, um, you're pretty much good. I, I, I suppose there's a, there's a painting or a way to use them that isn't going to work, but you're really just using red, yellow, blue, so you're using only three colors, black and white. And so it's almost built-in painting harmony when you do that. Mm -hmm. Even though some people, I always feel weird that I consider quinacridone my red when it looks pink, but it mixes better than the red does in the, in the Liquitex brand. It mixes better reds and oranges, and I've got a cat hair on my palette. All right, I'm gonna look at the chat, say goodbye, and then when he dries, I'll sign him, and then I'll splatter the other side. I think it looks really cute. I haven't painted that in quite a while. And you know what? I like painting it better as a five by five than a four by four. It was a little easier. Not as, a little bigger. Sometimes too small is hard mm -hmm. for me. Uh, Janet says, Thank you both. I love the snowman hug emoji, heart emoji. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Hi, guys. I'm looking at you in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, and I love your suggestions of what to paint. Any other suggestions, please post them in the comments. Or you could send me a... Um, I've got a public email on the About Me page on YouTube. You could send them that way. Grady says, bye. Love it. <laughs> Great to see you, Gravy. I assume you're all well now. I didn't even think of that till right now. Oh, yes. Yeah, hopefully you're all healed up. Oh, and Mr. Sun has all kinds of splatters on him. Okay, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Super, super appreciate your support. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>